So Dick calls up ED-209 to come mess up Robocop. And Robocop messes him, messes ED-209 about. The weird thing here is that when ED-209 is hurt, does he experience pain? Good save, Robocop. Good save, yeah. Makes him shoot his own arm. Yep. And he, like, twitches. He's, like, shuddering, shaking as if he's in pain. Does that does that mean they, they, they created a robot and then came up with a way to give it pain so that it, it feels pain? Like, why, why would you do this? Well, isn't there a thing with people that they don't have, like, pain or fear response and they do, like, mm -hmm. really irresponsible slash bad behavior? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I heard about this. I was listening to a podcast about this woman who doesn't feel pain. And so she, like, she knows intellectually not to put her hand on a, on a hot pan, but she doesn't, she knows that because she like logically thinks about it. Not because she's like, Ooh, ooh hot. No, 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 no. Like, like she has to actually think about it. Uh, what, are you, what so, are you saying? Yeah. So I'm saying that maybe they programmed him ED 209 with pain to be a good way to limit his behavior out on the streets. I see. So, he, so I was thinking that it's, it's super unethical to create a new being that doesn't experience pain. And you're like, here, here's a, here's a way for you to feel pain. Like I want you to experience agony. But what mm -hmm. you're saying is, it's actually a good mechanism to enforce not doing mm -hmm. painful things. How, how to like protect your body. Like for in the future, ED-209 is going to know, like mm -hmm. don't shove my gun in someone's face because they can, might shoot my other arm. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's what I was saying. But you're saying it's immoral to create a being that feels pain? Yeah, because like here you can create this being that doesn't feel pain and you're like, mm, I'm going to make you feel pain. Like I don't have to give you, I can make you feel joy. Like why, why am I making you feel pain? So every nut is a tragedy in waiting? You're talking about acorns? You're talking about walnut? What are you talking about? What? <laughs> no, creating a new because, human. Because you, you make pain. a tree and then tree can feel pain response? Is that? Oh, I was going way worse than that. Insemination. Because you're creating a being with pain. <laughs> I see what you're saying. The logic is tight. Yep. That's what I'm saying too now. Okay. Okay. But this isn't, this, okay. This is slightly different. This is slightly, slightly different, different because you're creating a new category of being. You're not like continuing biological stuff. You're, you're creating an electronic, purely electronic being. And you're like, hmm, I need to give it some type of self-deterring pain experience. I could just tell it like, hey, don't do that. But maybe, maybe that's the thing is the person who feels the, who does not feel pain, but intellectually knows it, mm -hmm. the behavior isn't modified correctly. You really have to give the, maybe you really have to give the robot actual pain and then uh, behavior is modified properly. Like okay, maybe I, there's I, no other way to do it. I see what you're saying. And I like it. I like it because you can program in all the things you shouldn't do, but ED-209 is a street bot <laughs> for the street. It's going to be mm -hmm. out there patrolling, encountering new problems. Mm -hmm. And so then you need ED-209 to figure out what it should and shouldn't do on its own, uh, which means you give it a little bit of pain. So that way it knows what it shouldn't do. Which means ED-209 is way more advanced than it was sold as. Yeah. Because it's it actually can emotionally connect somewhat with the people it's enforcing. Mm -hmm. So Dick Jones's product, goddamn, it's actually deeply far-reaching, very thoughtful. Yeah. Okay.